just like that tour in Sydney, I've overslept by an hour, so I'm rushing to the meetup point, which is a different location to my hotel. I'm still a little bit away and I'm very close on time. But yeah, today I'm going to somewhere like I, two years ago, one thing, one place I wanted to go to that I didn't get to go to was Wilson's Prom. And I'm still not going to Wilson's Prom when I got a spare day today. Why? Because I've instead chosen to do the Grampians National Park Tour. There's three reasons. One of them, we passed through the town of Moyston, which is where Australian rules football was born. So AFL origins. I think we just passed through there, Moyston, but um, hopefully I'm not asleep because I had like three hours sleep. Hopefully we're not, I'm not asleep when we go past there. Uh, the second thing is it's done by Go West Tours. They're the ones I did Great Ocean Road with two years ago. I love that tour. One of the best tours I've ever done. Go West Tours, legendary. And I, I don't know if it's gonna be that same tour guide today. Obviously got their big, their company. Um, but it would be cool if it was that tour guide, but I doubt it, I doubt it. But he was great and the company, I, I can trust them because I know they can do a great tour because I've been on them, been with them to the Great Ocean Road. And that was fantastic. So. I thought, yeah, Go West Tours, yeah, I trust you. <laughs> and the third reason was the park looks nice. There's some nice water, there's a nice waterfall there. I'm just like, ah, this is beautiful. So Wilson's Prom can wait. <laughs> maybe in, <laughs> maybe my next visit to Melbourne will be, uh, it, uh, when I get a spare, spare day, I'll go to Wilson's Prom, but it's not this holiday. <laughs> so I forgot how cold Melbourne was compared to Sydney and WA. <laughs> so I put my jumper on, luckily I brought it. Um, yeah, so if there was an for game in Melbourne today, I would have gone to that, like I, I would have been doing that instead. But obviously it's in Adelaide. Now, look, believe me, you guys know I've done some crazy things. So me flying to Adelaide in the morning <laughs> to watch the game and then flying back tomorrow morning, it's something I would do. <laughs> it's something I would definitely do. But as I said before, multiple times, I want to try and visit for the gather around next year. Um, obviously the bad news I got yesterday, I don't know if that's possible now, but the point is the plan was to come for the gather round. So that's why I didn't go to Adelaide at all or South Australia. I wanted to save it, savor it for when I actually do that. Um, I remember last week I put a post on my main channel. Um, Can you guess which five games I'm going to? And someone guessed the Adelaide Geelong game. I'm just like, did, did, have you been watching the vlogs? <laughs> There's a reason why I wouldn't have gone to Adelaide, but yeah. Hopefully I'm in a new job before July. So then uh, there won't be any, uh, any pauses to my money stream so I can keep traveling. Um, so yeah, at the moment, Adelaide is still on, but you never know what could happen in the next few months. Because <laughs> obviously, you never know what could happen tomorrow. Bloody hell, the last couple of days, <laughs> I found out I need to get a new home and a new, and a new, um, and a new job. So such is life. The things you find out on holiday, there's a subway. The point is, one day you're comfortable, but the next day you find out within a few months you've got to get a new home and a new job, you know? It's literally happened to me, so you've got to live, make the most of life. <laughs> live to the fullest, within your means, of course. <laughs> you need the money and the time. That's the right company, but it's Wilson's Prom. Ain't that funny. So my one's late then, wherever it is. I think I see my one, it's right there. Hey team! Just over an hour drive to the first stop uh, in Ballarat. Uh, what we're doing here is not at the Bulldogs game. Uh, we are having a breakfast stop, having uh, cake and um, tea, coffee provided by him. Um, so similar to Great Ocean Road. <laughs> it's not the same tour guide. It's got the same vibe though. He's a cool guy. It's actually got four cannons. They also do a Great Ocean Road Sunset Tour, which is pretty cool. Um, and also Great Ocean Road Reverse Tour, I don't know how that works. I guess you like drive to like really far out and drive back to Melbourne. I don't know. Um, they do Philip Island, Wilson's Prom, uh, Grampians of course. I've actually got an app as well. Um, so they do a Yarra Valley Gourmet. And it's not on the app, but they're planning to do a city tour as well. So well-rounded. And uh, they like to base quite a few of their tours around wildlife as well. Um, remember when uh, I did Great Ocean Road 
two years ago we saw a koala um, and a parrot sat on my head it's good times good times so when i come back to melbourne i'll look at them first to do uh victorian tours and uh, who knows when i'll come back sorry they're basically tours around nature not wildlife sorry but yeah wildlife is part of nature anyway break but we're at Hall's Gap for a few minutes um, the early town in the Grampians it's very busy here apparently during summertime and Easter weekend which is next week but yeah it's, it's, an, it's a nice quiet place to be <laughs> the rest of the year This one is also 
also a very popular for getting out there. It started raining and menaced, and then the rain turned into hail, and everyone was like, oh my god, is that snow? And I was like, no, 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 of course it's not the snow, it's just frozen rain. And then, uh, and then someone was like, but why is it floating? And then I looked up and sure enough, the hail had stopped and the snow had started. Called silver band falls apparently we're going to another waterfall as well probably one i saw on the thumbnail of the uh <laughs> of the tour um but yeah decent tour so far a nice walk in nature they said there might be snakes it's unlikely but if you see one just avoid it pretty simple rules really yeah there'll be a bunch of walks today uh which is pretty good it's a pretty long drive here and a pretty long drive back but we are here now so once we're here the drives are pretty close Next up is lunch, we've got 40 minutes here. Everything's in the same area, you can get hot dogs, ice creamery, there's a bakery, a supermarket, a souvenir shop. So yeah, might get a hot dog and ice cream or go to the bakery, then ice cream. Either way, I want ice cream. Sausage rolls and this a hedgehog slice. I assume there's no actual hedgehog included in there, but you never know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure I just called that. I think. Yeah. Do you want to go and sit down over there? <laughs> Chose the chopped chip cookie dough in the handmade, homemade waffle cone. That was an amazing ice cream. 9.9, .9. I give nothing a 10. The waffle was great as well. Yeah, brilliant. There was a biker gang right here, right? Like five, six bikes. Um, proper like American style biker gang. Leather jackets, jeans, black tops. Like proper, like like that. Uh, one woman and the rest of men. It, it, it's like they're from like the Sons of Anarchy TV show or something. I've not seen that show, but based on like clips I've seen, 
is like a proper biker gang. I'm just like, this is pretty cool. I don't know if they're friendly, so I stayed away, but I stayed close enough to hear the engines go when they started driving away. I'm just like, that's cool. Yeah, the souvenirs are this way. Got some things. I saw a really good magnet, right? And I was just like, that would look great on a key ring. Wasn't on a key ring. It is what it is. I, I saw some good things in there and I uh, spent a little bit. So technically, yes, you could see a koala here, but you won't. How about this out on the left? That is pretty cool. That's the kind of rock we're going to be walking over, not on that sort of gradient. Uh, it looks much, <laughs> much flatter than that. Mostly flat, he said. <laughs> Mostly flat, course, mate. <laughs> it's a good walk, but my word, is it dangerous? Bro, that one just moved. That's what I'm scared of. What if, like, they all start moving? Some big avalanche. <laughs> it's a great walk, but a bit terrifying to me. I just slipped on one. Didn't fall, luckily.
washed away in, in, in a landslide caused by flooding uh, last winter and uh, it took the road with it. So we're about to be driving on a very brand new bit of road. 10 minutes stop, uh, look out. Let's go and see what the view is like. I see a glimpse of it. Unstable cliffs. That's a shame. Oh, it is incredible. The cliffs look stable enough. <laughs> uh, don't tempt fate. Don't tempt fate. That looks like a giant swimming pool. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> As you can see, I got it quick before the tour group, <laughs> just so I can get as many clips and photos in as possible before the entire group fills up the 10 minute window. Not taking selfies though, but I will. Now those are some incredible views. I don't know how good Wilson's promenade is, but this is a great substitute, even though I've not seen that. We're still yet to go to the waterfall that um, was on the picture, but we are going there. Wondering what picture? Uh, most of the tours I book are through Get Your Guide. So on the app, when you search for a tour, there'll be one specific thumbnail. When you press it, there'll be more pictures, but there's one at the front that you see <laughs> as like your eye grabber, <laughs> a bit like YouTube. And it's just, for this one, it's like a giant waterfall. I'm just like, can't wait to see that. <laughs> I think it's next, I don't know. There's one really hard walk, I think at the waterfall. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. It is optional. It's a lot of steps. I just feel like I'm low on energy. Even though I've eaten, and I'm not hungry. The uh, three, four hours of sleep have got to me. <laughs> and there's three weeks of just non-stop early wake-ups. <laughs> it's caught up to me <laughs> properly now. I wouldn't get too close, they can get a little bit fighty. Warning, limbs may fall. Yeah, I, I thought so too. <laughs> The main walk here, down to the base of Mackenzie Falls, that away. Uh, there's a couple of lookouts along the way that are fantastic as well. It's easy to get down there. Um, it's fairly strenuous to get back up, uh, but it is worth it. It's incredibly beautiful. But distance-wise, it's not a long way, but it's it's a long it's right down and right back up. Uh, if you want to do the easy walk, uh, that goes this way. Um, that's out to the lookout of Mackenzie Falls, so that'll be on flat ground the whole way. You'll head out that way and come back. Um, if you do the easy walk, you should definitely go that way as well because there's a couple of lookout points uh, before the descent that you can get to without having to deal with any major stairs. Um, and if, yeah, if you're feeling fit and healthy, then absolutely do the big one. It's amazing. And if you don't want to do it, do the little one and then head over there and check out the lookouts as well. Bathrooms are there. Bus is back there. I'll see you all at uh, 20 past four. 
Um, oh, and don't swim when you get down to the bottom because people have died there. Um, they used to allow swimming and then people got sucked under the waterfall and died. But you can put your feet in and you can splash water on your face. They said don't go swimming because people literally died under the waterfall. Yeah, the more you know. It's good to know that warning. I don't know if I should do it or not. We'll see. So my backpack's off, my hoodie's off, so it's easier. Now for the second lookout. The first one wasn't like, it was good, you could see it. But like, because of all the trees in the way, it wasn't that good. It's not the main waterfall though. Blue my neck. It's 266 steps apparently. Uh, there's a level down there and then go even further. They at least look like normal steps. Doesn't look impossible. Uh, Don Kings Canyon, out on the, uh, the one in Blue Mountains. <laughs> Thousand steps down to know. They were more steps than this one, even the one in Tasmania in uh, Wine Glass Bay. Wine Glass Bay, so um, I guess I'm doing it. I guess I'm doing it. Should I quote Rocky IV or shall I not tempt fate? That is the question. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> One minute till we got to be back at the coach. Or bus, should I say. <laughs> it's a bit smaller than the coach. Uh, I might have to leave when I, when I get there. Because <laughs> apparently going down is actually very easy, which makes sense. It would be. Going up, though. We shall see, my friends. All right, turn away. <laughs> Okay, let's go down. Going away. There's even a rainbow. Three fifty six. I'm knackered. I'm gonna be very tired going up these steps, but I'm glad this rail is here so I can film as well. That was an incredible view. So I'm stressing now, but I'm gonna look back on that thinking it's worth it. That was incredible. That view down there. I knew I shouldn't. Have, I knew I like. I could have gone to the main lookout, which I didn't go to. I'm glad I chose to do this. What an incredible view from the bottom and the rainbow on top. That makes the whole day. That does.
It was still worth it. It was still worth it. Still worth it. This will be much easier on more than three hours sleep. <laughs> three hours sleep, a cake, a coffee, two sausage rolls, another cake and an ice cream. A very healthy diet to go climbing up some strenuous steps. <laughs> the only thing I've done right today to prepare for this is drink water. Make sure you do plenty of that, no matter what you're doing today or tomorrow or any day. Life advice from Davidoff. Like for more. Subscribe. At least that's easier. It's 402. A bit more uphill. Small walk through the forest. And we're there. But I am knackered. At this pace, I'll be there just in time for 420. Even I can't see that side. Kind of can, kind of can't. I guess it's been here a while. Even if there's no heat, still drink water and help others, that's very helpful. See, you do these two all the time. And the other two, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be cool with everything. Yeah, actually, you know what, do all four all the time. That's good advice, heat or not, especially the third one. It's 407, just going to it now. Out of all the hard walks I've done over the last couple of years, that was the easiest. <laughs> and I'm still knackered, <laughs> but worth it. Oh my days, the bottom of that waterfall, first of all, it just looks incredible, just looking up at it. And then you get the rainbow at the bottom, it's just immaculate. That was on the thumbnail, and I got even better than the thumbnail. It looks better than the picture. And you know it's good when it looks better in person <laughs> because pictures are meant to make it look good. So when you see the real thing and it's even better, that's when you know it's good. I'm just sitting down for one of the guys in our group. That's cool. should zoom more than three times even iphone 12 which is why i have considering getting the 16 when it comes out the pro i actually prefer android why do i get an iphone because of the camera the video like photos androids i think take better photos especially like samsung and stuff but and pixel but for video iphones are matched it's the perfect vlogging camera but like for a, anyway it's like you can take it in anywhere like there's some places where you can't take a digital camera like a canon you can take a phone it's a phone you can take it anywhere and it has an incredible built-in camera it's like it's perfect for a vlogger like <laughs> that wants to do anything and everything it's perfect androids need better with video cameras maybe, maybe there's a better one now but I'll, I'll trust the iphone on that go west tours great tour guide If you don't ever want to explore parts of Victoria and you need a tour operator, search Go West Tours because I feel like they'll be very good for you no matter who you are. They should, they should sponsor me to be honest. Like I'm giving free promo to so many tour companies in this, on these holidays. <laughs> but this one, this one's special. But yeah, really, they, they should all sponsor me to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm too, I'm too good. <laughs>
not bad this side either. Perfection. Perfect. I hope this one's not too long. The guy said 10 minutes total. It's already been six minutes. I'm doing this. There's someone after me. They won't leave two of us. <laughs> He's a nice tall guy. He wouldn't leave any of us anyway. Was it worth it? <laughs> it's bloody incredible. I'm not going further than this. <laughs> A fabulous view. No words. No words. This was worth choosing over Wilson's prom. Helipad. It would be sick if someone made like a free roam Australia game. You know, like GTA or <laughs> what else could there be? Well, just like, well, GTA but in Australia. Just place it around like maybe two states. <laughs> or something and then have like crocs in the water all the wildlife <laughs> kangaroos that attack you i reckon a free roam australia game would be really good i'm just saying there's a market there yeah red dead is what i was missing red dead but in australia These are not the ones in sanctuaries or zoos. These are wild ones. So he said, don't get too close. You can get nearish, but don't push it. Especially the big ones over there. I saw a huge one in Sydney Zoo, so <laughs> I was close enough to that one. There's one looking at us. Too close, mate. The ruse and the doff. See, this is where that latest phone zoom would come in handy. What sort of bird is that? <laughs> These lot just bounce around, eat grass and sleep. It's a simple life in fairness. 
and they might do some kicking some taekwondo jujitsu it's not a bad view around either They also do number twos and then scratch instead of wipe. That's TMI. But it's natural wildlife, so it's not too much for YouTube. This pavilion for hire. I wonder how much. Maybe I should call to ask. <laughs> Not that I would anyway. But you know, you get a pretty nice view of kangaroos in the evening. It's coming up to 5 30. Uh, there's the last thing. Hang on a second. There's one on the road. That's where the driver's gonna come back down. Oh, there's two on the road. Interesting. Are they waiting for us to kick us? <laughs> As I was saying, it's the last stop um, and we've got a two hour drive to a service station, to a servo, maybe I should talk more Australian. Um, and then back to Melbourne. I don't know how long it's back to Melbourne after that, but we should be at the servo by 7.30 and then it's back to Melbourne. So this is pretty much the last thing we're doing and uh, it's been a great tour. <laughs> it's mainly about views and uh, nice nature and you know mountains and waterfalls. But it's bloody beautiful and uh seeing kangaroos at the end of it it is spectacular brilliant tour i knew i could trust go west tours after the great ocean road last time i just knew i could trust them <laughs> i feel like i got that off the vibe of one tour guide but like it seems like all the tour guys i got because i met two more today seems like they've all got um that sort of vibe so <laughs> you gotta be i feel like you gotta be like very positive and uh very uh jokey <laughs> to get a job as a tour guide at this company but yeah they're good again they should sponsor me because i'm advocating for them massively they're really good <laughs> and if you, if you look at reviews of them they've got high reviews like everywhere um so it's not not really a surprise oh he was bouncing i, just, I need to work on my camera work when i can't see behind me <laughs> i'm always terrible at that so he was bouncing that way now he's looking back it could be a she, I don't know, but they're not looking at each other. Oh, uh, now, okay. He's just like, you coming or what? Not bad, eh? Just uh, 55 minutes here, <clears throat> sorry, 15 minutes, there's 55 minutes to Melbourne, sorry, there's 55 minutes to Melbourne, so they've done the long part of the drive, um, I didn't get anything, uh, I was going to get a drink, then I decided no, <laughs> I was going to get a chocolate bar, then I decided no, so now I'm just out here just chilling, so yeah, uh, I'm a little bit tired, but I uh, had a good tour today. I'm looking forward to sleeping tonight. Uh, I was going to do something, right? I was going to head off to the Melbourne IMAX tonight to watch Dune 2 again because I wanted to experience Melbourne IMAX as well as Sydney IMAX. 9.30 p.m. It would have been back in time. It would have been back at like 8.30, so I would have been able to get there. Guess what? It's sold out, completely sold out. I didn't pre-book it just in case because I inquired about the tour. They said we might get back at 9.30. Um, so I thought, let's not book it just in case we get back late. But we're getting back early. I didn't book it and it's sold out, so... I'll save Melbourne IMAX for another time, maybe a few years. Anyway, let's get back to Melbourne. It's gonna get KFC, then I thought, nah. <laughs> okay, next stop is gonna be Savoy Hotel.
Depends on 16% and that's with a charge as well. <laughs> I charged it on like 28 or something. Uh, that was partly because I got a work group chat on, on WhatsApp and it was booming off this morning <laughs> as we were driving towards Grampians. So that's probably part of it. But anyway, yeah, um, sports. My tour guide, Felix, was great. Um, he was fantastic today. Uh, great guy. And he definitely passed the vibe check. He's also an Arsenal fan. He knows my Arsenal hat and my Hawks jumper. I'll get to that in a second. He's an Arsenal fan. He said uh, he we were talking a little bit about being top of the league at the moment and the Champions League quarterfinals being there. Uh, it's a great feeling. Pretty sure his dad's English, so that's probably, probably part of the reason why uh, he follows the Premier League. But then again, it's a worldwide sport, anyways. <laughs> but um, yeah, we were just talking about that. I thought that was pretty cool. At the end of it, I said bye, thanks for the tour, and I told him like, hopefully, I'll win the league. And he's just like, of course we will. Have faith. I like that. I like that a lot because what I lack a lot with Arsenal is faith. <laughs> I have good reasoning, but I lack a lot of faith. Look at the backdrop of this city, bro. Uh, skyscrapers. <laughs> That's all they are, but they can look very impressive. There's a lot of English people on the tour today, all of them from Northern England. But uh, yeah, if you don't know, in England, we have a lot of accents in different parts of the country. So like... You drive up the country two hours and people like sound different and <laughs> the name of bread rolls have changed anyway yeah um the afl side so he's not really like he's he likes afl but not that much but he watches it with his granddad his granddad i think is 96 uh his granddad's a diehard collingwood fan <laughs> and so he's a collingwood fan as well but like he only watches his granddad doesn't watch it doesn't watch it that much apart from that but yeah i said i was at the game last night i was just like i don't even know who who won i'm just like you lost mate <laughs> But uh, yeah, so he's Collingwood. So it's just a little bit of banter there. I remember two years ago, the, my tour guide was Geelong for the Great Ocean Road. He was telling a story, um, and part of the story is on the blog as well. I just cut him off for the wrong, cut the video off for the wrong time. Um, but basically, it, it, it never snows in the, in the Grampians. So like there was one day where he was doing the tour, and it started snowing. It was like heavy rain and it turned to hail, and then people saw snow. He's just like. That's not snow, that's hail, and it actually was snow. Um, none, none of the other tour guys believed him, so he had to hit it on video and camera. Someone else said, thank God for technology, and which is true, because no one would have believed him otherwise, but he, he said right after, right, a deer ran across the road, and he was just like, am I in America? It's, it's one of those, it sounds like a bizarre dream. <laughs> it's snowing somewhere, it doesn't snow, and then you see an animal that you don't expect to see in Australia. And it wasn't really like a funny or amazing story, I just thought I'd mention it, you know, just add to the vlog just a little bit we saw a lot of kangaroos on the way back uh, mainly at the start at the grampians towards the outside of grampians aside from seeing sheeps and cows we, we saw plenty of uh, i said sheeps sheep is literally the plural <laughs> um, but yeah we saw a lot of kangaroos on the way back uh, which is pretty cool some nice views of melbourne and other things um, i also saw so on the freeway before coming back to melbourne so like uh, when you're coming across the bridge i can't remember what the bridge is called but the bridge is taller and longer than the one in Sydney you know what I'm talking about the big bridge going to Melbourne right I wish I got it on camera so I'm gonna to try to explain it I'm not good at explaining things so I saw you, you know Christmas lights you see like you, you get all these LEDs and you make a shape and it looks like Santa or whatever so I saw that but it was like a house and the, the lights weren't on they were turned off but it was quite clear it was a really cool like artistic design and it was just all lights that were turned off but you could still see it you could still see like a house shape I, was, I just thought I'd mention that just in case someone might know what it is because I'm curious is that like a landmark or is it like a temporary light thing I'm curious it, it, it looks like a house I feel like no one knows what it is so I've just wasted my time and your time um, I brought my laptop with me because I thought to myself hey I might go to Melbourne IMAX and if I do that I'll be back in my hotel like 1 2 a.m. or something I have to be up early tomorrow I don't have to be up early tomorrow, but I want to do something tomorrow. Tomorrow's vlog is Melbourne, like Hawthorne, Melbourne. Um, there's not much else, but there are, there are a couple of things I got to sort out because I'm basically not in a hotel all day on Sunday and I'm leaving on Monday. So Saturday, tomorrow's literally packing day. Pretty much most of my, you know, making sure my suitcase is already trying to figure out the weight and the charges. That's all going to be done on Saturday, um, which will be Sunday's vlog, of course. But. It's just going to be Hawks Street, Melbourne. I'm going to be up early because I'm meeting someone at 2 o'clock. So before that, I want to try and get some things sorted out. Some things need to sort out for Sunday and Monday. I'm going to edit this and then just get a nice sleep. Hopefully eight hours and then I can go about my day. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow. AFL. We might get smashed. Probably will get smashed. But yeah, we shall. <laughs> I shall uh, hopefully try and enjoy it. 
Oh dear. I might meet someone else as well, but it's not confirmed yet. But uh, this one, I don't have to spoil. Uh, it's Coxie. I ran into him at Southern Cross for the Australia Zoo vlog. Yeah. He's in the uh, Hawthorne cheer squad. Um, I don't know if I'll actually meet him up or not, but we might meet up before the game. And then there's uh, someone else uh, to meet up beforehand. So, But maybe I shouldn't say I'm meeting someone because every time I say it, I bloody jinx it. Like, <laughs> every time I specify who I'm meeting, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Last year at the A4 finals, I was meant to meet Kat and Daryl, it didn't happen. Uh, this holiday, I was just like, yeah, I got relative in Perth, I'm gonna meet up. They had to work. <laughs> exact same thing in Sydney. And then Brisbane, I had a relative. I had already left Brisbane by the time they were able to meet. So, <laughs> and now I'm saying I'm meeting Coxie tomorrow. I I'm gonna jinx it again. We, we, we can reverse the jinx, mate. Come on, go Hawks tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I feel like I'm accidentally revealing where my hotel is located by <laughs> people are gonna know, like, know these streets and be like, oh, he's in this direction. But yeah, oh, there's an Audi. They're famous in England, they're a German company. I knew you had Audis, I just, I'm just a little surprised to see one in Australia, to be honest, even though I know you have them. Anyway, as I was saying, hope you enjoyed the vlog. This has been a good day tour. It was worth it just for that waterfall, to be honest. <laughs> It was also cheaper than the Wilson's Prom Tour. Not that it matters, I would have done the other one anyway, but I just saw Grampians, I thought, hey, this looks like, like a great place. So I'll save Wilson's Prom for who knows when. This is your boy Davidoff, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a good day. Not long now till I have to go home. A depressing ride home, but it is what it is. All good things have to come to an end. Something I have decided is three week holidays are a bit too much for me. <laughs> like three weeks, it might be okay if I'm relaxing on the beach or a resort. I could do that for three weeks, but exploring, touring constantly with early wake-ups for three weeks, I feel like I've had enough of it. <laughs> in mind, I'm enjoying the holiday. It's just that the lack of sleep has drained so much energy out of me. With a few days left, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to slouch now. <laughs> it was the most, it was the hardest waking up in the morning this morning, so. And it's not even the last early wake-up, so <laughs> there is that. So I've been out training for like 10 hours now. See you later.